The Mandalorian. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute version of the Mandalorian. Hello everyone, my name is Gina Carano. Let's get started. Now before we get started, I want to make sure you are aware of all of the donation links to help fight the wildfires in Australia. I named Koali Pops after koala bears because of my love for Australia. And so you can imagine how devastating it is to watch these beautiful animals walking around while their paws are burning. This whole month, I'm going to be keeping these links here. I just want to make sure that I can reach as many people as I can using my video platform. So click donate and let's get to this cake. Now to create the Mandalorian's body, I am using my PVC pipe stand and I'm using a three inch, two three inch half dome cakes to create the bottom or the body of my Mandalorian. So we got Funfetti. We got a little bit of vanilla buttercream. Did I remember to put the vanilla in the, probably not. So it's just regular buttercream. So we've got a second, three inch half dome cake. I'm gonna add a little bit of support for my head. And you're gonna notice that this process is very similar to the Chewbacca cake that I created. That's funny because they're both Star Wars properties, right? They're both Star Wars characters. So I've got a six inch round cake going on top to create the bottom of my Mandalorian head. A little bit of buttercream with vanilla, maybe, probably not, but maybe. Another six inch round cake, some more buttercream, and then a half dome cake to finish the top of his head. And I thought that this was too round, so I'm going to cut a little bit off the top, kind of just round that out. Now, I didn't want him to be too plump, so I'm cutting away a little bit of cake at his body too, so there's hardly any cake to create his body. <laughs> Only like one person can eat the body, or maybe even like half a person. Now we've got a crumb coat going on with my maybe vanilla buttercream, who knows, who knows. <laughs> And then I realized I had to carve a little bit more to create my Mandalorian helmet. You know, his helmet goes in, like he's got some really defined cheekbones and they go in at the bottom and they go out like this. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I captured that on this cake. And I placed this into the fridge for about 30 minutes just so that I could set up and I watched the Mandalorian. I watched the episode where Baby Yoda is just like on the and there's just everywhere. Baby Yoda lifts his head like this. Baby Yoda's using all power and it is tiny little baby. Kid controls so much and he didn't even fall asleep this time. Sorry, I don't want to spoil it for anyone but you should watch the show. Um, now to create my Mandalorian helmet, I'm using gray fondant and covering my Mandalorian head. This was a little hard. I just worked the fondant down the sides. The fact that it goes in at some points at the bottom made it hard to cover. And there are a little bit of seams that you can see, but I'm gonna cover that with a second piece of fondant. So it doesn't even matter. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I cut away the excess fondant and to get some really nice, really crisp lines at the bottom, after I cut away most of the bottom, I put it in the fridge for a little bit so that the fondant can stiff it up and it would be easier to cut with an X-Acto knife. Now I got some charcoal gray fondant going onto his tiny body. Um, and I put the seam right underneath his arm. So when I add another piece of fondant to create his arm, you won't see it at all. Now I was debating on which version of the Mandalorian I was gonna create because the earlier versions of the Mandalorian, he's got a lot of brown on his armor. He's got some turquoise detail, but then two episodes in, he's got brand new armor, which meant that the toy that I bought at the beginning of the show is now obsolete. But well, that's how Disney gets you. Now I'm creating all of his limbs, his legs and his arms with pieces of fondant. 
Um, once I place on all of his limbs, you can really see the Chewbacca-like features. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I created this awesome Chewbacca cake. Right? Look how cute he looks. And he's got a dark side. I use the exact same cake molds, exact same cake stand, and got this adorable baby. Is he as cute as Baby Yoda? Not a chance. <laughs> but he's pretty darn cute. Now, once I finished with his limbs, I added on all of my Mandalorian armor. So we got some gray for his chest and those abs. Does Pedro Pascal have abs? We'll never know. He doesn't take off anything, not even his helmet. Now I was gonna dust this with a whole bunch of silver luster dust, um, but I didn't want it to be super shiny. He's dirty, he's getting shot every day. He's rolling around in the dirt because he's getting shot. So it wouldn't be shiny. My favorite part about creating the body of this cake was creating his belt. The one that strapped across his chest looks really nice. And I like all of the great fondant detail I added to create those little missiles that are attached. And because this is like a smushed version of the Mandalorian, he's got these little booties. <laughs> I thought that was funny because it's like he doesn't have any feet. Then it was time to create my Mandalorian helmet. Now to create the Mandalorian helmet, I'm starting with a black tee. Just putting it over the front of the helmet. And then I'm going to layer about four <laughs> pieces of fondant on top of it. Um, I'm adding two pieces of fondant to hide the seams that I created on the cheeks. And then two more to enhance and to really give detail to the Mandalorian helmet on the sides. Then we've got the rim of the visor at the top as well as some more armor detail. Once I finished with the side part of the armor, my Mandalorian cake was sort of complete. Yes, I love all the detail in his helmet. I love his cheekbones. I love the hint of brown leather that creates his straps as well as his little booties. But this cake isn't finished yet, because just like my Chewbacca cake, we're gonna get a Mandalorian Sith. So I'm covering the back of my helmet with black fondant to create the Sith Lord Mandalorian helmet. Mandalorian Sith helmet? Sithorian helmet. There we go. I'm gonna cut away the excess and just apply all of the same detail, just in different colors. Now I asked you guys on YouTube what you would call a Mandalorian Sith Lord. And a lot of you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help guess with this one. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> guess I'm out of touch. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is this something to do with Star Wars? Um, it's been everywhere for the last month. But I'm not gonna hold that against you because I'm your friend. Now I decided to go with Darth Lorien. I thought that was a good combination. I'd love to see somebody imagine what a Mandalorian would be like if it were tempted by the Sith and the dark side. They would be very deadly, I think, using guns and using a lightsaber. After I finished applying all of my Mandalorian armor, I added a cape, and this cape was actually two different colors so that it would match the Sith Mandalorian as well as Pedro Pascal's Mandalorian. So we got gray on one side and then we got black on the other. Then, voila, my double-sided Mandalorian cake was finally complete. Isn't it stunning? I love how kawaii it is. If you probably only saw the helmets, you would be scared. But as soon as you saw the body, you would just think that this little boy was dressing in a costume. Little boy or girl, it could be either. I love the Mandalorian. He was totally overshadowed by Baby Yoda. How, how could he not be? Baby Yoda's so cute. Now, if you want to see more awesome Star Wars cakes, I've got a ton. Princess Leia, Baby Yoda, the Chewbacca cake I mentioned earlier. I love Star Wars. I've got a ton of toys. Too many for somebody my age. <laughs> now, I hope you guys enjoyed this cake. I'm curious, what did you guys think of Rise of Skywalker? I loved it. I saw it twice. 
I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like it, but that's okay. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!